Hello everyone. In this video, um, let's check if a given linear transformation is one to one or on to. Okay, so the linear transformation here is from R2 to R3 and it is defined by P of x comma y is equal to 2x plus 3y comma 5x minus y comma x plus 6y. Okay, before solving this problem, let us first look at uh, a general linear transformation is a linear transformation from Rn to Rm then by the rank nullity dimension theorem we know that rank of P plus nullity of P should be equal to N. So uh, and there are two other things that we also know if rank of T is equal to M then T is on to. What we also know is that rank of T is less than or equal to M because rank of T, uh, the range of T is the subspace of the codomain that is Rm. So the rank of T can be at most M and if nullity of T is 0, we know that the linear transformation is 1 to 1. And uh, what else do we know? Uh, nullity. The null space of uh, T is a subspace of the domain which is Rn. So nullity of T can be at most N. So now uh, since we have two numbers N and M, let's consider the three possible cases. N greater than M, M greater than N, N equal to M. If N is greater than M, we know that the dimension of the domain is greater than the dimension of the codomain. In this case, can the linear transformation be 1 to 1? That is the question. So, suppose the linear transformation is 1 to 1, then the nullity is going to be equal to 0. And if the nullity is going to be 0, then the rank of T has to be equal to N. So, in this case, if T is 1, 1, then rank of t has to be equal to n because uh, it has to satisfy the rank nullity dimension theorem. But we also know that rank of t is always less than or equal to m. If it is always less than or equal to m, then rank of t cannot be n because n is greater than m. So this is not possible. So in the case when n is greater than m, t cannot be 1 1. This is true for any n and m. So uh, whenever the dimension of the domain is greater than the dimension of the codomain, the linear transformation cannot be 1 1. What happens in the case when m is greater than n? That is the dimension of the codomain is greater than the dimension of the domain. In this case, if t is on to then what happens to the nullity of t? Since t is on to, we know that the rank of t has to be equal to m and from the rank nullity dimension theorem, we will have nullity of t is equal to n minus m. But since n is strictly less than m, n minus m is going to be less than 0. This is again not possible. So t cannot be on to. So when m, the dimension of the codomain is strictly greater than the dimension of the domain, the mapping, the linear transformation cannot be on to. When n is equal to m, what happens? So in this case, if t is on to, then we know that the rank of t has to be equal to m but that is also equal to n and this forces nullity of t to be 0 which means that t is 1 1. So when the dimension of the domain and the codomain are same, if the linear transformation is on to, it has to be 1 to 1. Similarly, you can also check that if the linear transformation is 1 to 1, it has to be on to. So these are the 
general cases when the dimension of the domain is n and the dimension of the codomain is m. So the linear transformation that is given to us is from R2 to R3. So where, uh, which of these categories does it fall into? It falls into the second category. That is the dimension of the codomain is strictly greater than the dimension of the domain. So we have already observed that in this case it cannot be onto. So it cannot be onto. So now let's check if this linear transformation is one to one. We need to check if t of x comma y equal to 0 implies x comma y equal to 0. So we need to check if this happens. So t of x comma y equal to 0 gives us 2x plus 3y is equal to 0, 5x minus y equal to 0, x plus 6y equal to 0. We need to see if these equations have x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 as the only solution. So let's try and solve this system. Uh, from the second equation we have 5x is equal to y uh, and from the third equation we have x is equal to minus 6y. So we will just put these two together. What do we get? 5 times minus 6y is equal to y which means that minus 30y is equal to y. This is possible only if y is equal to 0. And since y is equal to 0, we can substitute in this and we get x is equal to 0. So t, x, t, t of x comma y equal to 0 gives us x comma y equal to 0. Therefore, t is 1 to 1. Or you can uh, do it in another way. You can find the matrix of the linear transformation and then find the rank of rank and nullity from there. So this is uh, one way of solving it. Thank you.